Hey guys, what's going on and welcome back to American Fugitive. It's been a couple of minutes since my last episode, but I don't know where this cop is and I'm gonna do what anyone else would do and ignore it and talk to Anna. Um, you've got files on the Sidorovich family, the Italians, biker gangs. Why do we need all these and what are you up to? You don't need to know. I kind of do need to know. I mean, like... Yeah, I'm just kind of sick of this. I'm not your errand boy. You're going to help me out or what? I'm like, you know, you could just like give me a handy at the very least. I said you're right. We haven't been making enough progress. It's frustrating. I can see that and I'm sorry. But if it helps, I think I found something. Thomas Shepard, sound familiar? Dock worker, reported harassment and death threats for volunteering in local politics. Says here he feared for his life. Well, that's not good. He died under very similar circumstances to your dad. Ooh. Let's see, this is promising. I should be more trusting. I know I messed you around, but we'll be good together. I know we will give the- Why couldn't you just tell me this stuff? Like, you could have just told me. Give the operator a call and see what you can dig up on our boy Shepard. Use a payphone so you can't be traced. Sure. Is the cop still here? Ooh, <laughs> hey buddy. Just gonna like... Try and drive around you without hitting you. All right. Because I don't know if a cop's in that car or not. Isn't there a... Well, this is showing me where a payphone is. I was going to say, isn't there a payphone at the pawn shop? But whatever. Why would I go to the pawn shop? Find out there's no payphone there when there's one right here. Look at that. I can't... Really? Really? And then... Dude, I'm stuck in the... Did you really just... Did you really just hit my car like that? I'm stuck in the ground. Do you see my feet? Dude, my feet are in the ground. Officer, do something about this. Hey, let me heal up. Oh, wait, no, I'm full health. I wonder what I can do in the cafe. What will it be? Uh, it's just food. Is that key lime pie? Yo. I want, I want some pie. I want some pie, buddy. Oh, baby, we got some pie. Look at that pie. That's a good looking pie, too. Hello. <laughs> Call, who are you? Oh, what are you wearing? This is Debbie, how may I help you? Hey, Debbie, uh, can I get your number? I'm trying to find an address for a Thomas Shepard here in Red Rock County. I do have a listing for that name, but I'm afraid that, or the address is withheld. Withheld? That's no good, Debbie. I really need to get, I really need to get through to Thomas because we're brothers. I know, I know it makes no sense. Two brothers having no contact like this. Long time ago, Tommy ran off with his chicken family, didn't prove and dad. Well, dad just passed cancer. It was quick. Yeah, this will work. <laughs> I don't, either this is going to work or it's not going to, I mean, lol, it's either going to work or it won't. I found a letter to Tommy and Dad's things about how proud Dad was and how sorry he felt, and I felt I ought to deliver it to Tommy, but I don't know how to find him. You know, this is some pretty great A bullshitting on the spot. Can you help a guy out? Dot, dot, dot. I really shouldn't, but I know. Oh, it worked. I know what it's like to lose someone close to you. If I can help your family reconcile, well, it feels like I should. Oh, you're going to lose your job. <laughs> His address is Lot 12 Cliffside Trailer Park. Thank you so much, Debbie. You're the best. Sorry if you lose your job over... You better not scrape my car. I stole... I didn't even steal this car. Hey, check it out. My head's still poking through. Do not... That is illegal. There was a cop right there and you're just doing an illegal U-turn. Don't hit the gas. Man, Debbie, I'm sorry if you lose. Okay, just cheese it. Okay, uh... Cheese it. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> oh, I'm wanted. Aren't there clotheslines around here? Oh, no. Suspect spotted. I think that's the way to the quarry. Yo, let me in. There's no wind. Oh, wait. There's a clothesline. There's a clothesline. Easy, easy. Give me a dress. Oh, yeah. I'm looking pretty again. Tell me I'm cute. Oh, it's unlocked. 
Can I help you? We could have knocked, you know, I'm just saying. What am I doing? She's clearly grieving. I shouldn't be here, but this could be the break I need. I'm a friend of Tommy's and I is he in? It'd be great to talk to him. I'm sorry about my husband. He passed away recently and Tommy, no, I couldn't stand him sometimes. Few could, you know. We were almost on the verge of separating last year and I, it's all I can think about. My dad died recently. I know what it's like to miss someone and we, you know, we didn't always get along either. Oh, it's just like the heartwarming bonding moment. Murder, but the cops, they, they that hit a nerve. Maybe there's something here after all. Uh, sports car. It was a tricked out car at the scene, real expensive. They didn't even bother looking into it like they were hiding something, you know? Ellipses. Anyway, I'll get out of your hair. Wait, what you said, there was Thomas' death. The police didn't listen to me either. Yeah, because the police are kind of uh, rude boys in this town. They said he was mugged. They said that heart failure got him. What? He told me he was scared. He told me people were out for him. This car, he kept seeing it outside the house. He thought people were watching us. I thought he was just paranoid, but thank you for your time, Miss Shepard. You're, you're going already. If you want to visit, he's buried over at the cemetery. They did a beautiful job on the headstone, a lovely cross. Look, I got my information. You don't have to tell me all this. Oh, can I go with you? I understand. Oh, I can't go with you? Look, we had a chance at some, like, morning widower action right here, my dude. She loved the dress, is all I'm saying. And you just turned it down like that. You know who we haven't seen in a while? We haven't seen Dwayne. How's Dwayne doing? I'm gonna dig into this a bit more. Doesn't feel, something doesn't feel right. Sure, you do that. I'm going Dwayne. Cause I'm like right here at the scrapyard anyway. Oh, hello, officer. Don't mind me. I said, don't mind me. Get out of the car. <laughs> get out. Get out of the car. Perfect. <laughs> Oh, hello, officer. Officer. Off officer. Please. I know it's a fugitive. But you don't have to hurt an innocent civilian such as I. I'm just going out for a walk in the local scrapyard. Please. Oh, oh I'll get in. Any word on the car, Dwayne? I need more time, kid. I'll get you a lead. I give you my word. There's a fly around my freaking head right now. How does this fly get in here? Get out of here. I ran out of time here, man. You got me sorry on this trail. I'll always, and I'll always appreciate that. But maybe I've got to walk the rest alone. You did your best. Concentrate on yourself. Yeah, concentrate on yourself. You're my brother and spare me your pity. Well, I taught you this life. Everything you know is because of me. I went to jail because of you then. I don't want to leave things like this. I'm worried about you and not just your money, but your head, the way you're acting. I don't need you lecturing me. I got options, okay, like today. I got word from a supplier who says they can sell me parts on the cheap. I can finally get my books in order and all of your plans, Dwayne. They, they're they always too good to be true. You gotta get real for once. And why don't you see for yourself, Will? Head to the meetup. I'll follow. Well, this is, uh... <laughs> all right. You're just... I kind of... Well, we know what's going to happen now. They're just giving us a shotgun and saying, go to this place. All right. I'm going to use a police pistol. Use a shotgun. Use my pistola. I stole this. Dude, that cop is not having a good day. Oh, he just got run over by his... He just got run over by his own or just like... My dude, are you okay? Are you like... Really doing okay? I, I want to like... Search your body? Baseball bat. Yes! Dude, give me the cop clothes. Alright, I can see when people were saying there are bugs and stuff in this game. I can see the bugs! Don't get me wrong, though. Thankfully, they're not game-breaking, but I can see these bugs. Like a car. Just in the middle of a pile of wood. Oh! Never mind. I fixed the bug, boys. Where am I going? Oh, it's not even that far. It's not even that far we're going to. Hello, please don't care that I'm breaking through your brick wall. Please don't care that I don't know how to drive. It's been a while since I've driven a dune buggy, please. All right, what is this place we're meeting up? I do not know what this place is. 
thank you for not reporting that. Especially the dude who would... I'm pretty sure it landed on your head, but you know what? I'm a police officer. Motel. We're meeting in a motel room. Nice timing. I've just got myself here. No sign of the supplier, though. It's a setup. Oh, shit. Get out, Will. Yeah, it's a setup. Just go. I'll meet you back at my place. Well, look here, boys. Who are you? You are like a 1970s, like, villain. You're joined by the two big convict who's been causing all this. Causing who's been causing us all this trouble? You're a McCoy or whatever, right? I knew it. You see that Polly took one look and turned tail. He's a bigger coward than I took him for. I guess it's just you then, Billy boy. I'd love to stay in chat, but my boys want to get acquainted. Oh, jeez, gun out. Dude, shoot. Why is my guy? Shoot. There you go. I would like to search the McCoys. I can dis can I disguise? Dude, you know what? I don't like this fight. Give me um I got so much rifle ammo. That is a cop. That is a cop. Like right Dude, officer, please. Guys. Guys. Officers. Officer, help. Officer. Officer. Give me a oh, jeez. Blow it up, blow it up, blow it up. I should eat. Freaking drink the water too. You guy. All right. All right. Sitting down. All right. <laughs> yeah. Anyone? Nope. I, I can explain, Will. Y'all ran off and left me all alone. Shots fired. Oh, police uniform. Oh, hold on, hold on. Yeah. McCoy clothing. Oh, no, 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 no. All right. Please. Okay, now I'm mad at Dwayne. Let me in, let me in, let me in, let me in. Use the wrench. I wonder how long it takes to turn off the alarm. Can you turn off the alarm? There we go. All right, I'm mad at Dwayne, so we're gonna do some Dwayne missions then, it seems. Excuse me, I, don't, I like to, yeah, there we go. Plus Dwayne is just close by. So, uh, Dwayne, you mind explaining what that was? You know, um, like, I'm all for crazy schemes and everything, but if it turns into a shootout, I'm just saying, don't leave me by myself. Man, I the reload button being like the right bumper is just so weird, by the way. Is this full ammo too? Just like reload everything. Alright, the pistol kind of sucked. I should have just used a shotgun like the game wanted me to use. Alright, Dwayne. What was that? You ran out on me. Yeah, exactly. Drop it, old man. Oh no. <laughs> and we're breaking up. Your big break nearly got me buckshot. I don't need this anymore. I don't need you anymore. If you'll just let me explain. Let him explain. I want to hear. Oh, we're done here? No, Dwayne. Can I visit Dwayne again? No. Can I go in? No mission. All right. Well, that's it for Dwayne. Well, poor Dwayne. He's a man hard on his time, and his friend is out here saying, I mean, like, he did get me into an ambush that pretty much had me caught in an explosion. You know, there was a lot of bullets flying around. At least Anna, like, Anna's kind of not being nice, too, but at least Anna's like, eh, they're just chasing after me. They're not shooting at me, and there's no cars exploding. Yet. <laughs> Keyword is yet. And then, honestly, it's the only mission I have left, so I might as well do it. 
Hello, Anna. You got anything for me to do? Hopefully without me getting shot. Check out this dune bug I have. You like it? Does that turn you on? Is that good? Check out this McCoy clothing I got. I think it's McCoy clothing. Is it McCoy clothing? Yeah, check it out. <laughs> I've got a suggestion. In both cases, most of the evidence lies in the coroner's reports, and we clearly can't trust those. The cops barely bothered looking. Oh, they've got something to hide. This is crazy, even for me, but I know a guy. A mob doctor. He knows how to keep quiet. If we were to give him access to one of the bodies, maybe he could learn more. I'm not digging up my dad. Of course not. You're going to dig up Tommy. Well, we know where his gravestone is. You're unbelievable. Hey, he'd want to get revenge too, if you think about it. Anyway, see what the doctor says first. All right, meet the Undertaker. I mean, the Undertaker's kind of old. Kind of lost to Brock Lesnar and all. Maybe we should go get Brock Lesnar instead of the Undertaker. Like, I'm sure a nice choke slam. Everyone likes a good choke slam, but I don't know. Maybe Triple H can do something. Hit him with a pedigree or whatever. This better not be, like, dead end. I'm kind of learning the map. It's kind of, I'm still, like, not knowing that well. Hello. I'm here. <laughs> Mr. Undertaker, sir. Mr. WrestleMania, if you will. Undertaker added a phone book. I got the Undertaker's number. Oh, baby. Can I help you? This is clearly a funeral home. This is another one of Anna's setups. Sir. I was told you were a doctor. I think I got the wrong place. Who told you that? Uh, Anna. We're, we're snitching. Oh, Anna sent you. You must be William. Yes, I've been expecting your arrival some time now. Come with me. Oh, okay. You're the mob doctor then. Anna said you could help me solve a problem. I was a long time ago, but my work was not deemed to be agreeable by some. What, they strike you off for malpractice or something? Precisely. Not everyone was willing to indulge my eccentricities. I don't know why I'm giving him this kind of accent now. Were you, like, having sex with the corpses? Silence, Julio. I've made a new friend. We shall resume our discussion later. As you can see, I've found a new line of business now. Maybe you can help. Oh, I'm certain I can, but the world doesn't work like that, William. In exchange, I'll, I shall require your services. Quid pro quo and all that. Deal. Splendid. Anna was mentioning something about a gentleman. Recently deceased and at risk. You require me to discern his fate, correct? I need you to tell me how he was killed, if that's what you mean. Well, I don't usually deal with bodies post-funeral, but if you bring me the shepherd, I'll be happy to look at him. The guy's widow said he had a cross-shaped headstone that I guess that gives me a head start. You might very well think that, but it's a graveyard, William. There will be plenty of crosses. I mean, you know, this like guy's got a point. Find Tommy's grave and dig up the body. Sure, I'll change into Undertaker clothing. Something, something, rest in peace. Where is the... Oh, you want me to drive the hearse? Oh, sure, I can do that. Do it with the... Wait, hold on. What is this music? I could have sworn I've heard this music in Fable or something. I'm trying to listen to the music right now. I like it. It's a little, like a mini bop right here. All right, let's go. Um, okay, uh, I'm gonna cut through here. Sorry about the corn. I don't wanna talk too much because I like this song. Actually kind of nice. Dude, there's a lot of crosses, I'm just saying. Uh cross. Cross. Dude, it's gonna take forever. I gotta read every cross or every cross. Uh Tommy Shepard. That's the guy we're looking for, I assume. Tucker Jacobs. It's gonna be the last one. It's always the last one. You know it. Oh, there it is. Well, nothing to take. Not my proudest moment. Yeah, well, like, whatever. Man, this guy is all jiggly and stuff. Look at him. His chest is freaking out. How do I put it? Oh, okay. Put him in. Take the 
body to the funeral. Is there a... Can I... That's a rock. Is there anything else I can do around here? Can I dig this grave up? What is this? Might as well take them. I mean, like, why not, right? Can I break into the mausoleum? Yo, I can kick it in. FBI! I got a search warrant for this spade. <laughs> um... You know what? I'm gonna drop one. Alright, thank you, sir. Thank you for cooperating with the FBI. Uh... Why am I dressed like a Undertaker and driving a hearse? Uh, I'm undercover. Uh, what do you want? Back to the funeral home. Go! Go! Go, my little hearse! Before the train comes! Oh. Little hearse. Little hearse. Whatever. Skirt! Not that skirt. That is a quality skirt right there. Watch this, watch this. Oh, come on, dude. I got a dead body in here. Respect the dead, please. Yeah, I'll do another skirt for you guys. Oh, that's a police. Skirt! It's kind of hard to do a skirt when, uh, skirt! When you don't get much speed. I'm definitely going to hell for this. I'll put Julio or Julio to sleep and get to work on Shepard right away. Don't fret. All right. Where's the next mission? Oh, I got Undertaker missions now? Okay. Well, instead of Dwayne, someone took my, someone took my dune buggy. Ah, no, my dune buggy. Anyway, though, uh, well, this has been an interesting episode. <laughs> we, uh, well, we kind of cut ties with Dwayne, it seems. And now we got, uh, we still got Anna and we got the Undertaker now. He's looking a little lean since his wrestling days, but you know. Turns out going off the HGH kind of does that to ya. Anyway, though, uh, thank you all for uh, watching this episode. And if you guys enjoyed this episode, please be sure to leave a like or a comment down below. Also, uh, if you want to keep up with the series, please be sure to subscribe to the channel. Anyway, though, uh, if you also uh, want to catch more of me, please be sure and go, uh, to go and check me out on Twitch TV. Anyway, with that all said and done, Thank you all again for watching this episode, and until I see you guys next time, um, bye.